Yesterday, Nintendo held a Nintendo Direct event that took place in Japan, and they announced some pretty unexpected things. And one of the biggest things that they announced, and it got a lot of buzz around town, was the new iteration of the 3DS. It's called the new 3DS. Hate seems just to be revolving all around this new system. And that's to be expected. But I don't understand why people get so butthurt off of what Nintendo does. Before we even get into that, let's talk about the new system for a second. Now there's going to be two iterations of this new 3DS. Um, you're going to have the regular new 3DS and then you're going to have the new 3DS XL. One of the new features that is included in this new 3DS is definitely the buttons. Um, I think it's the regular new 3DS that's going to have the colored buttons. It kind of has this Super Famicom slash Super Nintendo style to it. One of the big new features for both the new 3DS and the new 3DS XL is going to be the fact that the Circle Pad Pro is integrated onto the system. So you'll no longer have to use that accessory that makes your 3DS look like a monster. The second circle pad is going to be placed on the right hand side. It's kind of placed awkwardly if you ask me and it looks rather small uh, but again it's cool that it's actually on the system now and it's supposed to be used for um, camera control so that'll be neat. Both versions of the new 3DS are going to have additional shoulder buttons. So not only will you have L and R, you're also going to have ZL and ZR. And I'm totally down to see how that's going to work with some games. The battery life is supposed to be a lot better compared to what we have on the 3DS and the 3DS XL right now. Plus, the new 3DS is going to have some customizable features. You're going to be able to change the face plates on your new 3DS. And I know it sounds super cheesy, but I'm kind of excited about that. It reminds me of this little fella right here, good old Game Boy Micro with the interchangeable face plates. I'm excited to get into that. The 3D is also supposed to be significantly better, but the big kicker is definitely the new CPU. You're going to have a new CPU and the new 3DS, um, and that's a lot of new. My God. Uh, but no, this new CPU is supposed to make games run faster. Um, you're going to get an overall better performance out of the games. And because of this new CPU, you'll be able to have Amiibo integration. I don't know if you guys remember, but you got the little figures that Nintendo announced a couple of months ago that are going to be um, compatible with certain games out there. So those are going to be coming this fall. And this new 3DS is supposed to have that Amiibo, that NFC functionality already in the system. So if you have the new 3DS, you're going to be able to place your Amiibo right onto the touch screen and it's going to they're going to talk to each other as opposed to if you have the old 3DS, you're going to have to get um like a certain peripheral or something like that in order for the Amiibo to communicate with your 3DS. So the internet has a problem and it's not the first time and it definitely won't be the last. But People seem to really not like the new 3DS models because of the fact that the new 3DS is supposed to have exclusive titles. So far, Nintendo has only announced that Xenoblade Chronicles is going to be exclusive to the new 3DS models, all right? And all hell broke loose. Everyone's going crazy. And I can kind of understand why. In a sense, that does split the market, all right? It splits the market between people that currently have 3DSs and then this new market over here with the new 3DS, all right? But I gotta be honest, this shouldn't be a surprise to any of you guys out there. This has happened before. Nintendo has done this. Um, they did it with the DS Lite and the DSi. You know, they kind of split that market. Um, there weren't many exclusive DSi games out there. Uh, but there were exclusive DSi games out there. And hopefully Nintendo markets this thing well enough so that people won't get confused um, with what's going on and what they should be buying for their child. But then again, as a parent, you should kind of already know what your child has. You know, you should kind of be interested in the things that they're interested in. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. That's what I did with my son and I still do it to this day. Um, I buy him things that I know he wants and I'm kind of in the mix with what he has. 
It drives me nuts guys because I saw a few videos yesterday and I was looking on forums and people are honestly saying that in 2015, next year, the 3DS is going to be obsolete. And that's ridiculous because Nintendo never said that. They are not phasing out the 3DS by any means. This new model of the 3DS is going to be able to play regular 3DS games. It's going to be able to play DS games. The only difference is that it's performing at a higher rate. It's the better system. But Nintendo never said they're getting rid of the 3DS. It just blows my mind, guys. <laughs> it really does. Because it's like, I'm not saying you should like Nintendo. Not by any means. You like who you like, and that's cool with me. Just don't be a hypocrite about it. You know, like I said before, it's no surprise. Nintendo releases new iterations of their handhelds and consoles. But don't be a hypocrite because, you know, Microsoft does the same thing. They have special edition Xbox, 3, Xbox 360s, new special edition Xbox One is coming out. The PlayStation 3, Sony does the same thing. You got the regular PS3, you got the fat PS3, you got the slim PS3, you got the super slim PS3. I mean, come on now. But we can even look at Apple products because, you know, if you have an iPad, if you have an older iPad, let's say generation one or two, and you try to go onto the App Store and get a new game, you know, you have that market split there, guys. You do, because you might not be able to play that new game on your iPad, you know? And Apple brings out new iPads and new iPhones every year. And they're expensive, but yet people go out and they buy those continuously. So I'm just saying, if you don't like something that's cool, but just don't be a hypocrite about it. I can only speak for myself, but personally, I am excited for the new 3DS, and that shouldn't be a surprise to you guys. You guys know I love my handheld gaming, my portable gaming, um, so I'm interested to seeing how this all pans out. Now, it's not coming to North America anytime soon. It's going to be released in Japan in October of this year, and we won't see it until 2015, but I am rather excited. I mean, what are they? the possibilities? They're just like endless almost, you know? They're already putting Wii games on this thing you know we're gonna have Xenoblade Chronicles will we be able to play GameCube games that would be awesome if we could play GameCube games on this new 3DS I'd really enjoy that <clears throat> so that's everything we know about the new 3DS as of right now and of course I gave you my two cents when it comes to the craziness that's surrounding it but I would love to hear what you guys think about this new system let me know in the comment box below, you know, are you interested in this thing? Do you think you'll be picking one up? You know, do you think Nintendo's milking it? Whatever it is, let's get talking, guys. Let me know what you think about the new 3DS. I want to thank all of you guys for watching this video, and I'll check you next time.